Wow, look at this guy. It is such a bizarre looking wyvern. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac. And welcome, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Vault. That's right, we're in episode number 18. Yes, 18 of the newest season. That's right, Mega Myth modded, baby. And man, are we having fun? Seriously, though, last episode, we got, yes, all the creatures behind us. We got some epic. Whoa, what's going on there, bro? Be quiet. We got some epic holographic dudes. Our, our first rubber dude. Yes, there is Xenosaur. We got a maxed out level uh, Gelregarian, you know, lizard people. And we got ourselves a giant sea turtle. This thing I'm pretty excited about. We didn't really get to try it out too much, but apparently uh, it can do torpor. Yes, while underwater. And I don't know, it, it might be our answer to uh, getting some really cool sea creatures. At least ones that you can knock out. So we'll have to try this guy out more today see if we can actually get a knockout with it um also did a live stream yup and uh in the live stream we tamed our very first hammerhead shark it's pretty cool and it's actually a passive tame i never knew but uh it's got some pretty cool features uh about it so i don't know we can check that out today as well anyway yes no new uh major changes to the base play still working on it but uh, yeah, having a lot of fun. And today, other things. Um, there's a bunch of different creatures in Pyrea. Yes, which is one of the main mods that we're using. Um, it's what this Dralian's from and a lot of the creatures. But a bunch of those guys uh, actually have like passive things that they make. And we got to start taming those guys so that we can collect up these, uh, you know, passive special items. So, yeah, I'll show you what I mean once we get one. But I think it should be pretty cool. But uh, anyway, guys, yes! Why don't we go see... Uh, there's one in particular that I've been looking for and is finally showing up on the map today after a wipe. So, uh, why don't we get to that? And please remember, if you're enjoying the series, to show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously... What are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe. Anyway, wish me luck, guys. And uh, I'll meet you at the first little guy that we find. All right, guys. Uh, we got the first thing that I'm looking for. And it's in a fight with this dude. Bro, go away. All right, here it is right here. Come on. Come on over here. Dude. All right, all right, come on, come on, come towards me. Yes, all right, let's get uh, all these other things out of here. Get out of here, all of you. I don't want it to die. I've been looking for this thing for so long. It is called a cockatrice. And uh, yeah, it just hasn't been spawning really. I, I don't know what its deal is. Let's see if we can get it uh, trapped in. All right, cool. Hopefully that's trapped in enough anyway. And, oh my goodness. Can we just set this here to block the door, please? All right, perfect. Now this guy is one of the most venomous creatures in Ark. And uh, yeah, hopefully it will be able to help us out. Oh my goodness. Help us out to get some venom of ourselves. All right, keep on going, bro. Keep on going, how we doing? Not a super healthy creature, so we got to be a little careful. Oh, but that is, look at that, hitting through the mount. Holy cow. Ah, uh, dude. All right. Come on, you got this. Dude, look at the amounts of venom that are on us right now. It is absurd. So close, come on. Please don't be able to jump out. Please don't be able to jump out. And is that going to be enough? And it's out. Awesome. All right. It's only a 520, but hey, like I said, it is the first one I have seen for quite a while. And, oh crap, what kind of kibble was it? All right. Purple. Bada boom and starve out. 
Nice! We've got it! Oh, man, you're so cool, little dude. Look at this. It's kind of like a, it's got a chicken face. That's kind of funny. This guy's actually, I think, been redone since the last time I've seen him. I don't think it had a full chicken face before. But that move, though, look at the amount of venom. It is just insane. All right, let's grab the rest of that excess kibble. Let's get it packed up. And uh, let's see if we can actually get this guy. I'm hoping that this is one of them. It should be able to create venom, uh, you know, in its inventory. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, we are back at the base. I have it hitched up on Wander. I already tested it out in the Soul Terminal, and uh, unfortunately, I don't know why. A lot of Shadlos' mods um, don't, like, produce resources in the Soul Terminal. Don't know why. But if you put them on Wander and hitch them up, check it out. You actually get Cockatrice Venom. And it says potent venom from a cockatrice can be used to co arrows to make venomous arrows. So let's have a look at this. This might be an earlier game thing, but it looks like it cost five um, of the venom per arrow. Yeah. So let's go ahead, craft one. And uh, I want to test out to make sure and see if it does torpor or if it's in fact more of like uh, something that you use for uh, doing like poison over time to damage stuff. Um, there are other crafting recipes for it though within here. Example, this one right here cost 300 of the cockatrice venom. So yeah, we're going to have to save up for a while, but pretty cool. Got that out of the way. I like it. Um, let's go try out this arrow real quick. Now I'm going to wait until we have like a higher level one to actually go out and level that dude up for now. I just wanted him for the venom. All right. So let's find somebody. All I want to do is find out if it does torpor or not. This, this is really it. So let's find somebody that we can just shoot out real quick. And I think it should be pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and load it in. Beautiful. Make sure we got somebody nice and big so we're not going to miss. All right. And. All right. Got hit. I see no torpor. What the crap? <gasps> no. I don't even see like a venom on it. So, yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Ooh, what is this? Oh, water wyvern. Dude, I almost forgot these things existed. Oh, that's a real low level one, but I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll come across a higher level one at some point. Oh, so many cool new things that are showing up. All right, let me uh let me peek around a little bit. Oh, I'm bummed out about that venom. It should have worked. I really feel like it should have worked. All right, and let's go ahead and load the normal arrows back into that. All right, fair enough. Oh man, look at that octopus. One day, guys, one day. Holy crap, you know what? Today might actually be that day. Look it! Yes, we have a water wyvern right here. It says KO tame, but uh, last time I remember doing one of these, I think it was a passive tame, so I don't know. But uh, it's kind of stuck. Let's just clear out some of this, just a tad bit. Go away, copies! Go away! All right. I don't think we can net him. All right, he's pretty aggressive. Can I net you? All right, it's saying no. All right, let's see if we can get it knocked out. You know, this is, honestly, I prefer it to be a knockout. Oh, but that's got a lot of torpor. Holy crap, that's got a lot of torpor. All right, just stay there stuck in the tree. That would be so good for us if you would just stay there stuck. Oh my lord. So it's got wyvern hydration. And then it's got Beachcomber. Not sure what those mean. I assume the hydration means like it it's it gets like a boost, kind of like a Spino, maybe. This I don't know. All right, we're doing actually pretty good. Just keep on going, bro. Keep on going. All right, get a little bit of eats in. Keep on going. Oh, I hope it stays stuck. Talk about lucky. I don't think it can break the tree. Oh, no, no. I spoke too soon. 
I spoke too soon. All right, we got lucky for a little while. That was a nice little start. Where are you going, bro? Where are you going? Don't get involved with other stuff, please. Oh, jeez. It seems like he gets stuck quite often. I'm not going to complain. All right, keep on going, bro. I have a feeling our Drellian probably doesn't like water very much, so it's possible this guy could do a number to us. But I am uh, I'm most worried about if he flees. And it's kind of a tougher thing to be able to... Uh, we, it would take a while to be able to block this guy in. I mean, we could do it. Especially because it gets stuck in trees, but... Would not be super easy. All right, so far so good. Hasn't started trying to run or anything. And hopefully it doesn't. All right. Wow, I can't believe we're able to do 129 Torpor so quickly. All right, what is that walking around in the back? There's something right up there. I can't tell if it's a carnivore or an herbivore. All right. Dude, this is so epic that it's stuck. All right, I think that's actually a safe thing. All right, keep on going. Oh, so close. Please just be easy for us today. Don't give us a hard time. Oh, 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 that might be enough. I'm afraid to shoot. Yeah! Oh my lord. All right, now please nothing goofy be going on. Just tame right up, please. All right, phew. Kibble. It said this one, right? Blue? Okay. Four blues and starve out. Yeah, 100%. <gasps> I can't believe it. It's our very first wyvern of the season. Oh my goodness. I love it. It is so cool looking. All right. Come on, Dragonite. Oh. Let's not push our luck. Let's go get a saddle immediately. Wow, look at this guy. It is such a bizarre looking wyvern. Like, you know, it's it's unmistakably a wyvern, but the head, it's a little bit stubbier looking. It's cool though. And then it's got these giant sails on its back as well as, uh, yeah, kind of like a, a fish tail a little bit at the end of his tail and a few more, yeah. So uh, this guy, uh, it's it's different than other wyvern because, yeah, it actually has like a water effect that it can shoot out. It's super cool. So, you know, it adds an extra element. The mod Pyrea has all different sorts of like special elements and resistances and, and different stuff. Ooh, look at it. It has like webbed feet, too. It's it's kind of cool. So C does that water like spray. Right click doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. All right. Um, but this guy's able to fly right into the water. Isn't that neat? So yeah, flies right through the water. And um, basically it uses, I guess, the amount of, let's see, press spacebar again to get out. It uses its amount of, uh, I don't see it on, on him, but it says it uses like the amount of water that it has. Um, in, nope, yeah. Is there water? Yeah, look, you can see the water stat right there, and it's draining, I guess, because we're out of water. So if I go back in the water, is that going to go up then? Let's let's have a look-see. And, yeah, look at it. All right, let's put on our, because our oxygen's draining. Let's go ahead and put this on. All right, cool. And I guess let's get them all charged up. Um, if it gets all the way, if it's like full on water, supposedly like it gets extra healing and all sorts of stuff like that. And then as you use its, I guess, water breath and everything, it slowly goes down. So potentially a stat to boost. I don't know. I don't know if it's always a percentage or a set amount that it drains. But anyway, um, I wonder if I can also do this. Uh, we have an infinite water jar. Can I put it into this dude? What? It's not letting me. That's weird. It's not letting me put it into him. But I wonder if I... What about this water? Dude, none of the water jars can go inside of him. 
That is super weird. What about this? That, that is so bizarre. I don't even know, bro. Do not even know. But let's just wait for this water to get all the way charged up before we start using them. All right, water is fully charged. And I have to say, it goes through water really, really quickly. Like to the point that it's kind of obnoxious. There's got to be a way to fill it back up. It's just too bad you can't put like your, uh, you can't put a canteen or something in them. All right, uh, let's see about this guy, how it bites and everything before we start to level it up. All right, so 400 there. 400 there. All right, I, I hit uh, something else for more than that, I think. So kind of interesting. Um, let's try the water breath. All right, decent. Hits multiple times. All right, and then restorative water surrounds you. Oh, when I pressed right click, what does that mean? Restorative water surrounds you. Uh, covered, comforting water, you're recovering 5% of your health. Ah, so that's the, remember I said if you had a certain amount of water, um, you'd be able to use that move, and that's probably why I wasn't able to use it, uh, use it before. You have to have high enough water, but I mean, look at, look at how quickly it drains. It's, uh, it's kind of ridiculous. So I don't know if there, maybe you can put water element in it or something, but... It definitely, it definitely, it needs that. It's also unfortunate. The water breath should probably be the right click. And then the restorative water thing, that should probably be the C. But that's all of its moves. But I don't care. This thing is so cool. Now, I also wish, look at this. If you go in the water a little bit, you don't start to regen water until, until you're fully submerged and he's actually in a swim. It is also unfortunate. It should be like instant. If you go in water, it should instantly fill up so anyway these are my thoughts about it thus far um let's see when we're in the water i don't know if this is something scary yeah look at we're hitting this guy is that is that because i leveled them up a little bit i don't think i put levels into him yet i think it hits water things for more let's see hitting a fish it's also a little goofy for like Line, it's like it's like you're flying. You can't really like maneuver yourself all that much. Let's see. So bite turtle 835. Can we bite a water dino? Look at this. It's so hard to like go up to him. Yeah, 835. But then let's go out of the water. Let's hit one of these guys again. Yeah, see? It definitely it hits for more when it's in the water. That is interesting. That is super interesting. And it, it's not necessarily meaning that you're at full water. That's what I thought at first. But no, it's just if you're in the water, you hit for more. All right, cool. Um, definitely think this guy needs some movement speed for one. And it does not get phenomenal movement speed boost. But yeah, something. Let's get it up to 120. And then let's give him a little bit more oomph. For at least a bit. It's got pretty good health. All things uh, being uh, equal. It's it's pretty high. It really, though, it's going to be a pain to try and get this guy. Oh, look at that. It did in the thousands. It's going to be a pain uh, using this guy because you got to constantly worry about his water. And you can't just have, like, his toes in water. And uh, it takes so long for it to uh, regen up. So, yeah, definitely feel like a few things need to be fixed about the Water Wyvern. It used to be like a passive tame creature. So, you know, it was like understandable. But, I mean, now it's a pretty substantial guy to knock out. Yeah, we got lucky with it where it couldn't move much. But over 100,000 Torpor. That's one of the highest of anything we've done yet. Oh, that's cool. It can do its, its Aqua Jet breath while in the water. That's super cool. Yeah, awesome. All right. And you know what? There might be health potions for restoring water. I'm not sure. I'm telling you, though, you should be able to put a water bottle in and just drink. I don't know why you can't do that. All right. Let me uh, level them up for a bit. 
All right, guys, doing awesome, leveling up quite a bit. I just wanted to show you. Remember uh, yesterday I was looking at these guys and I was like, what the crap? I know I've seen them where I could tame them before. Well, uh, apparently, I think you have to wait until they like sit down and then it changes in the spyglass and it says they like strawberries, honey glazed strawberries. So, yeah, we're going to have to figure out how we get strawberries, but uh, I knew, I knew you were able to tame these things. Um, anyway, I'm hitting now. I'm not sure if this guy's mate boosted, but uh, as you can see, pretty good damage. Yeah, when we're out of water, guys, not quite as much, but I'm hitting for in the thousands against guys in the water. All right, let me see. Come here, fishy fish. I'm telling you, it's so hard to bite little things sometimes. Let's actually bite something in here. Yeah, look at that. 1,500. That is nuts. That is super nuts. So I really like this guy. I, I think he's a lot of fun. It's not as good in a lot of ways as a normal wyvern. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's got some unique features to it. And uh, being able to go in wa underwater is uh, it's pretty cool. And you can also shoot off this guy. So it could make for a decent uh, underwater taming type mount for something, you know, something bulky. So, yeah, all in all, I do like it. There's a lot of uh, great whites around here. A great white can still dismount me off this guy. Now, the next thing I'm a little concerned about this guy is since it does drain the water so fast, what is going to happen? And that's also uh, if I just haven't parked at my base, uh, hopefully being out of water isn't going to make him like lose health or something. We'll have to find out. Um, I don't know if you also noticed. I think it's just an animation, but look at how the neck actually stretches out when you like bite and stuff. It's really, really weird. It's almost like, I don't know, it's like a worm. It's neat. All right. Um, we still have the turtle that we wanted to try out a little bit more, and I wanted to show you about this shark. This shark has a phenomenal ability, um, which I guess, you know what? Maybe we can do it. We can demonstrate it just right up here. Let me just see how much stuff I have in my inventory. All right. Yeah, I think we can hold on to all this stuff. We got a lot of oil, but... What you gonna do? All right, good job, Mr. Wyvern. I love you. You're cool. Who knows? We'll find we'll find a use for you. We'll find a use for you. But um, anyway, let me show you about this shark. So this is a shiny one that we got. So it's a little bit higher level than normal, but uh, it was just a passive tame. Just went up to him, fed him, had to wait. But uh, yeah, look at it. it is super cool, and it's got an ability where, boom. It's got sort of like the owl uh, thing going on. Yeah, so it makes seeing underwater like way, way easier. You don't got to worry about goggles or anything. Now, it's not like an insane attacker, but that's not really what it's used for. Um, let me show you. And I do, I have boosted the movement speed on them. It gets pretty good movement speed boost. All right, let's see how high are we? All right, we're still pretty early on with them. But uh, let's see. So with 50 some odd levels into it. Ooh, let's stay away from that. Let's do something easy. All right, let's go to a Megalodon. Uh, we just got to watch out. There's no great whites. Ooh, look at that, dude. All right, stay away from that. All right, just want to show you how much I'm biting for. So as you can see, uh, and those guys might have like a mate scenario. But it's not a super strong attacker. However, they're fast. And in a group, they could probably do a lot of damage. Whoa, what is this? Looks like a big slug. Oh, look at it. Look at it. It's a Tuso. Oh, let's try and get the Tuso. Come here, bro. Yeah, so only hitting for 550 right now, which is not a lot. It's got left click, right click, and a C, which all seem to do the exact same amount of damage. All right, you know what? Let's kill this guy. It'll probably give us a lot of level ups. And then I'll show off the rest. All right, just about done. And we got him. Beautiful. All right, gimme, gimme, gimme. Do we harvest everything? Super hard to see. All right, he's still there. 
That's so weird looking with the with its special little uh, dust. All right, we got some eels. Let's just stay away from them. So that was mostly with the left click. Um, with the right click, it is phenomenal for getting trilobites and actually hits them for like additional damage. And I'm talking a lot of additional damage. It is one of the best trilobite getters I've seen yet. So come on, guys. All right, and then that's with the right click. Then with the C, you're able to sort of like an angler, you can harvest um, pearls. So yeah, look at right here. We got a pearl thing. Look at that, 136 pearls. And it does seem like it probably goes up with your uh, melee a little bit. What's going on here? Is this a cave? Did I find a cave? No way. Oh, cool. Look at all this oil in here. All right, let's set up a teleporter. I did not even mean to do that. All right, do I have one, please? Yep. Boom. And rename oil cave water. Dude, look at this place. It is packed with oil and with crystals. And it goes in even further, but yeah, very neat. I actually like this water cave better than others that have the, uh, cause you can actually bring your, your creatures right up here. This makes for a great water pen. Wow. That's pretty neat. I've seen that cave before in past seasons, but yeah. Now, unfortunately, uh, these dudes, um, it doesn't get additional damage against them. Like it does trilobites. All right. Those are anglers. So we'll see if we can find some trilobites, but yeah, just for getting the pearls. Remember I was having issues with silica pearls. This is probably our best answer to it because it is just so incredibly easy to get these guys. Oh, whoa, look at this. I think that's just decorative. And it seems like for the most part, look at even like the eels, they kind of stay away from me. So, you know, another super handy thing. Those guys, however, yeah, they don't stay away from me. All right, so let's go. I guess trilobites might be easier to find closer to shore. I love it. Is there any chance this guy gets oil too? Let's just see. I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't. We use the tibber for that, for the underwater oil. All right, and it seems like most of the other sharks are leaving us alone. Those guys bother us, but what you going to do about that? Ooh, look at this little underwater area. The underwater on this map is just so much fun. It is so incredibly cool. Did I get him? Yeah, I think I got him. It's nice how they've got... Look at this, the underwater lighting. It's kind of cool. All right. Um. Anyway, where was I? Can I find... Oh, can I get these type of pearls? Yes! Whoa! Dude, that harvests even more. This guy is phenomenal. I adore it. The hammerhead, uh, definitely a must get. And it's from the uh, aqu additional aquatic creatures. It's so cool. All right. Um, Trilobites. Can we find you? Can we find you? All right. I think no. Dude, they're everywhere. And of course, the one time I want to show off this, they're all gone. <laughs> all right. Finally. No. No! Dude, look at how small that fish is. That's a really small guy. Alright, there's going to be a trilobite. Like, they're always here, right along the shore. I don't know why they're not showing up. They know I'm on the hammerhead. What the crap? Alright, let's keep on going. We're going to find them. Dude, who is eating all the trilobites? It's redunculous. Finally! Alright. So normally we bite for, oh, wow. All right, I guess we bite fish for a lot more too, but check it out. Almost 20,000, like of any creature that we own for a single hit on another creature. I think this is the highest like damage boost uh, yet. It would be even nicer if it would harvest on the same hit. So you didn't have to do it twice per trilobite, but I'm not going to complain. This is certainly the way to go. And we can, again, put on our night vision. It's usually my favorite way and probably actually way easier to pick out trilobites and stuff. So, yeah, really, really, really 
cool additional creature. All right. Whoa. All right. So that's the hammerhead. Next to see. I guess we already kind of tried the turtle. I haven't really leveled him up much. And this took a little bit longer than I had expected for today. So I think that might actually do it for us. Yeah, don't worry. We got a lot more underwater adventures to come. I'm just kind of like getting, uh, getting used to it down here. But every single underwater creature I'm finding that I kind of was like, eh, who cares? Dude, they're all so good. There's so many cool features for everything. All right, look at more trilobites. Oh my goodness. Black pearls, pearls, oil, chitin for days. And I wonder if I could just leave this guy to uh, in an area, in a pen, where trilobites are. And if it would, like, just let them go ham against him. Oh, that would be so cool. All right. Anyway, I'll see you back at the base. Let me go through those comments. All right, guys. I just finished going through the comments. And yes, it is now that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance of getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button and yeah, just comment down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today we have, yes, these four to name. So let's get to it. We have for the turtle, none other than Shelly. Very cool. We have Pokey for our Therizinosaur, and the idea of that is like, remember Gumby from way back in the day had like a little horse guy that was named Pokey, so, and they were made out of rubber. So I thought that was kind of cool, plus, you know, it's it's got its little, little Pokey claws, so there we go. We have Hunter for our perfect maxed out level. Um, yes, Galorgarian, and we have Volt for our Tyranodon. Very sweet, guys. For next episode, we need names for our new water uh, wyvern, for our cockatrice, and why not? For the hammerhead shark, because it never got named. So, yes, help me out in the comments below. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. And also come check out the Discord. Be part of the Mac Pack. Link for that is in the description below. Anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again. And as always, peace out.